What's up everybody, this is Yair and today we are going to draw Gogeta. Okay, so today we are going to draw Super Saiyan Gogeta. That is of course the fusion result between Goku and Vegeta. As you can see, I started by drawing the famous perfect square. Each side is 5 centimeters. And without further ado, let's get started. We are going to draw Gogeta in a frontal pose. We start by drawing the shape of his face. We'll do that by using 5 lines. Next, we are going to draw his hairline. As you can see, it basically looks like the letter M. Once we are done with that, we are going to draw the wrinkles between the eyes by using four lines. Then we'll draw two lines on each side and from that point we'll draw the eyebrow and as you can see it gets thicker towards the edge and it aligns right next to the sideburns. Next to draw the eye we'll use three lines, two diagonals and then a curve underneath. We'll add the famous cheek marks by using two diagonals and some curved lines right below the eye draw one line above the eye and then we are going to do the same process for the left side. Next we are going to draw the iris, just half of a circle. And then we are going to draw his nose by using 5 lines. Next we are going to draw the mouth really close to the nose, even closer than that. We'll do that by using three lines, a wrinkle here and then draw the bottom lip. I'm gonna refine the face a bit. And then we are going to draw the ears. We'll do that by first drawing the shape of the ears and only then we'll add the details inside. And as you can see, I'm almost always using curves. Once we are done with that, we can draw the famous lock of hair from the front, covering the eye a bit to make it look more interesting. We'll proceed by drawing two lines to create the neck. And then we can draw the rest of the hair. We'll do that by drawing one spike on each side. And then we are going to use this guideline to help us draw the rest of the spikes. That way we can maintain the same symmetry. And as you can see to draw the spikes I'm using 2 to 4 lines, sometimes even 5. And I think the left side should have more volume, so we are going to make it a bit wider. Yeah. 
awesome and now it looks much better so we can go ahead and add some details to the hair we'll do that by drawing lines in the direction of the hair we're gonna have a sip of a delicious coffee i made And then we're going to proceed to draw the torso. So first I'm gonna draw his trap muscles. Next we're going to cross the torso in the middle. And now we'll draw those fluffy things around his neck. This is the traditional outfit for the fusion result. Next we're going to draw his neck muscles. His Adam's apple. And then we can draw the chest by using two curves just like that. Now we can refine those fluffy things. And we'll draw some lines in the direction of the shape to give it more volume so it wouldn't look flat. Next, we'll refine the trap muscles and the chest. And then we are going to get rid of all the unnecessary lines. And I think I'm gonna make the traps a bit higher. Now you don't have to do this but I'm kind of a perfectionist and I'm gonna refine the eyes a bit, just make some very slight adjustments to make it look even better. But again, this is just my perfectionist side, you don't have to do this. basically looks the same. Awesome, so once we are done with the sketching process, we can move on to the inking process. So go ahead and grab your black color pencil and make sure to sharpen it so we can have smooth and clean lines. Basically for this process, what we want to do is rotate the page, go all over the lines by holding the pencil closer to the tip. That way we can have more control and we'll go all over the lines by either pushing lines or by pulling lines. This process is really hard for beginners, so don't get overwhelmed. It takes time to develop skills in this area, like everything. Once you do it more and more and more, you will get better. Just believe in yourself, for God's sake. Awesome, and once we are done with that, we can move on to the shading process. So first, we are going to mark all the shaded areas in a process that is called cell shading. It's what they do in 2D animation. For this drawing, I want the light source to come from both areas, from left and right, which means that the center will be darker. As you can see, I'm shading the face in the traditional Dragon Ball Z style 
This is the best shading style in my opinion. And once we are done with that, we can start the shading process. So first we are going to shade all the darkest areas. We'll do that by holding the pencil closer to the tip. That way we can apply more pressure and then get a darker tone of gray. And of course make sure to shade in the direction of the shape. Can you do this sound? I don't think you can. It's a very annoying sound, doesn't it? But it's so much fun to do it. I don't know why. Also, next we are going to shade the mid-tone. This is going to be a slightly brighter tone and we'll achieve that by not pressing as hard as before. As you can see, I'm holding the pencil at the center. I'm still shading in the direction of the shape, adding more layers until I get that tone. Awesome, next we want to shade the brightest tone and for that we are not going to press as hard, we'll hold the pencil closer to the eraser, that way we can get a bright shade of grey. Awesome, so we are going to do the same process for the neck and the chest. Next we are going to shade his color, we'll start with the same process as before with the darkest tone, then move into the mid-tone and for the brightest tone we'll just leave the blank areas blank, which means they'll appear white. Awesome, once we are done with that, we can move on to the hair, again shading in the direction of the hair. This time we'll start with the mid-tone, next we'll move to the brightest tone and finally the darkest tone. Awesome! Now if you guys want to make uh, Gojira look much more interesting, we can use a blue-green color for the eyes and as you can see I'm leaving a blank area at the top side to get a nice highlight. Awesome! Once we are done with that, I have a suggestion for you guys but it's optional, you don't have to do this. But if you want, you can use your fingers and smudge the drawing just to make it look more smooth. As you can see I'm using different fingers for different tones and I must say it turns out pretty good. And we are done! Everybody? This is how you draw Super Saiyan Gogeta from Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super. 
Please let me know how you did in the comment section. Tell me how was this process. And of course, congratulations for finishing this tutorial or if you just tuned in to see how it works. Now, if you're new, make sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every week and make sure to hit the thumbs up and share the video with your friends so I can keep making more of these tutorials for you guys. That's it for today. Keep being awesome as always. And I will see you on the next video very soon. Peace.